By the end of the video, you will be able to master integration by substitution, integration by parts, and integrations involving partial fractions. So, let's get started. We'll kick things off with integration by substitution. This technique is perfect for simplifying complex integrals. Let's consider the integral of the form f of g of x times g prime of x dx. In such cases, if we use u equals to g of x, then du by dx equals to g prime of x, and therefore du equals to g prime of x dx. Plugging this into the original integral, we get f of u du, which can easily be integrated. To illustrate this, consider the example i equals to integral of 2x times e to the x squared dx. Comparing this to the above form, we set u equals to g of x, which is equal to x squared, du equals to 2u dx. Therefore, the integral becomes e to the u du, which integrates out to e to the u plus c. And subbing u equals to x squared back in, we get e to the x squared plus c, which is the answer. See how easy the problem became with the right substitution? Please keep watching as the next technique is a game changer for products of two functions, namely integration by parts. It helps when you're dealing with products of two functions, i.e. the form integral of u times dv, which is equal to uv minus integral of v du. Now, the trick with this one is to always pick the u that simplifies when differentiated, to illustrate this, let's consider the integral of x e to the x dx. So between x and e to the x, it's easier to choose u as x, as that differentiates down to a constant, and therefore dv can be taken as e to the x dx, and integrating that, we get v equals to e to the x. So plugging all of this into the above formula, we get x e to the x minus integral of e to the x dx, which results in the answer x e to the x minus e to the x plus c. Now you don't want to miss the next integration technique, which is highly effective for complicated fractions. But before that, just a quick one to say that if you would like more tutorials like this one, then please be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Thank you. Now coming back to the complicated fractions, what if you encounter a messy fraction like 1 over x squared minus 1? comment below how you might solve this particular integration. For this tutorial, we will use partial fractions. So we can first factorize the denominator using the difference of squares identity. We get x squared minus 1 equals to x minus 1 times x plus 1. Then we can express the fraction in the partial fraction form as 1 over x squared minus 1 equals to a over x minus 1 plus b over x plus 1. So multiplying both sides by x squared minus 1, we get 1 equals to ax plus 1 plus bx minus 1. And then comparing the coefficients on both sides, we get the equations a plus b equals to 0 and a minus b equals to 1. And simplifying, we get a equals to a half and b equals to minus a half. So the integral becomes a half over x minus 1 minus a half over x plus 1. And that then integrates out to a half natural log of modulus of x minus 1 minus a half natural log of modulus of x plus 1 plus c, which can be simplified as a half natural log of modulus of x minus 1 over x plus 1 plus c. And there you have it, folks, a complete tutorial on the most important integration techniques that you need to know. If you found this useful, then please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.